So basically, the assembly will be broken down into two major tasks. Assembly of the frame and assembly of the six drawers. Let's start with the assembly of the frame to which all parts are in the biggest box labeled box 1. The assembly of the frame is kind of divided into three major steps. First part is assembly of the main structure of the frame. Second part is putting together the top section. And lastly, attaching the backboard cover. Alright, let's start with the contents of the box. When you open the box, you will find these parts for the top of the chest. These two parts in here you will join together later to form this letter T-like structure which becomes the top section. Next, you will find inside the box this small package which contains the small parts which I highly recommend that you sort them out first so that it will be easier to grab what you need during the assembly. And here are the rest of the contents. You will get these two big pieces which forms the side wall of the chest and in it already got the drawer runners attached. Next are these four pieces which are intended for this. They form the front railings that hides the gap between the drawers. These two identical big pieces of wood forms the back support to hold the two side walls. Another part will be this big piece which is the bottom rail. And another small one for the top rail and this will be assembled together with the top cover of the chest. In the assembly guide the first step is to screw in the cam screws on specific holes around the side panel. Take note where they go because the other hole is meant for the wood dowel as you can see in here. In the diagram, they go in the holes right next to the drawer slider and the other four are in the inner holes. Here you'll see I already positioned my screws around and ready to do the first step of driving in the cam screws. Of course, if you have those cordless power tools, it will be faster. But if not, manual screwdriver is just fine. After that, attach the plastic foot at the bottom of those side panels. There are guide holes as well in there, so just insert and hammer it in. There will be four of them, two on each side. And then move on to attaching the wood dowels on those four small front rails. Take note as well which hole it goes into. Do not insert it in the hole which is aligned to a big hole because that will be meant for the cam screw and lock. And use the smaller dowels. You have to do that on both ends of those front rails which will then be attached to one of those side panels as shown here in the video. Next, prepare those two big identical wood meant for the back support and insert a small dowel to the proper hole at both ends. Afterwards, secure them by using the plastic cum locks. You will have to secure as well the other four front rails you've erected a while ago. There will be an arrow on the cam lock and it should be pointing towards where the cam screw is attached. That way you can push it inside the hole where the lock is meant to sit and then rotate it clockwise using a screwdriver. After those steps you should have something that looks like this. Moving along, we will have to prepare the bottom rail by attaching the corner brackets on both ends using the screws with wider head. And attach as well the foot on those three drilled holes. And then connect the rail to the bottom part of the side panel as shown in here. Again, use the screw with the wider head. After doing so, you will now have to put on top the other side of the panel as shown in here. Align all the holes so that it will sit properly and lock the 
front and back rails again using the plastic cam locks. And for the bottom rail, connect it to the other panel using the screw through the angle bracket. After that, you will have something like this. And we now come to the assembly of the top part of the chest. Start by partially connecting the top rail to the bottom part of the chest top by using two small dowels. After that, attach cam screws on the designated holes as you can see in here or refer to your assembly guide. Next is hold together the front rail and top using the provided angle brackets and screws with a smaller dome shaped head. But not the screws with flat head because that will be used for the drawer runner in the next step. And here's that step. Attach the drawer runners to both sides of this thick rectangular block. Follow the diagram for the proper placement or just follow and align the right holes. Afterwards, hammer in the two big wood dowels and attach this part to the chest top using the metallic cum lock. Next step is to attach this bracket meant to be used when you will secure the chest to a wall. And here's how the top assembly looks like. Next step is to attach this metal stiffener. Not sure if that's the proper name, but yeah, install this one. Again, follow the diagram and there are pre-drilled holes that will guide you as to where it goes. And now prepare the chest frame to receive the top assembly by putting the small wood dowels on designated holes. And after that we can join together the top assembly and the main chest frame using the cum locks. And for the final step for the chest frame assembly, attach the backboard using the supplied small nails. Follow the diagram for the nail placement. Or just put nails around in a way that they are evenly distributed and with reasonable spacing and of course so that the back panel will not fall off. Welcome to this second part of the MOM chest of six drawers assembly. We will assemble the six drawers, two small ones and four big ones. Parts are contained in boxes number two and number three. I highly suggest that after opening the box to group the similar parts together, most specifically group these side parts of the drawer with this mark in here. Each drawer will have one marked side panel and the other one without the mark as shown in step number two in the assembly guide. Organize as well the small parts. It will be easier for you to get what you will need when they are grouped together by kind. Here are the parts that we need to assemble starting with this thick wood for the front. Next the two side walls with routed dado. Next is the back part of the drawer. And lastly, thin wood as bottom of the drawer. 
The routed dado of the sides will receive the back of the drawer as you can see in here. And both the front and back part have grooves where the drawer bottom will slide in. To connect the side panels to the front wood, it will use the cam screw, wooden dowels, and the cam lock. Careful to drive in the screw on the correct hole. The same with the dowel. Connect them to the proper holes on the side of the panel. After that, connect the side panels to the front wood and secure it in place with the cam lock. Next is slide in position the drawer bottom on the groove of the drawer front. And finally, put in the back of the drawer making sure that the drawer bottom is sitting on the back part's groove. And at the same time, the back of the drawer is fitted on the side panel dados. And fasten them together using these plastic screw nails. After that one, push in these tiny rubber stoppers or bumpers on their designated holes along both sides of the inner surface of the drawer front. And lastly, install the drawer roller runners on both sides. By the way, the same procedure is to be applied in assembling the bigger drawers. And there will be an additional step which is the installation of a bottom reinforcement or support in the center of the drawer bottom. And here is how you do it. Hope this video helps and good luck with your assembly. Thank you for watching.